I am fully aware that if we continue like this, we could crush the bread, greatly reducing its edibility. Misha, tell her her that... <laughs> 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 Mommy! <laughs> tell Quit her it. she lets go. The bread is going to be crushed. Hmm? Welcome back. Hi. To fucking being rude to poor burned girls. Aw, those poor burned girls. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like your ladies extra crispy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The look on her face isn't one of sadness, at least as far as I can tell, but her words are very sad. Hey, let's play a game. All the board is still here. Just trying to get you to shut up. But the bell rings and cuts me off. Oh, darn! <laughs> and I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I pass out every time I hear bells. So the Emmy route so far has been the only one where we've gone to school. Right. Like, or, like, shown us well, in class. Yeah. You know yeah. <laughs> Things have returned to normal. Well, I transferred in at a pretty unusual time, and I can hardly say that I had a normal first few weeks here. I guess it's more like things have calmed down and reached a normality. I've been here longer than I thought. A few weeks? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard not to think about all the stuff I might have missed in this, in this school before my arrival. Or the things that might have happened in my old school since I've been gone. I wonder where these feelings come from since I didn't leave much behind. I have a lot more here that I like. If that wasn't the case then I wouldn't even bother with something like student council or she's an A and Misha. I would be hard pressed to care about anything if the school was how I imagined it would be. So even this feeling of a daily routine makes me glad in a way. I dread the amount of work that's going to hit me in student council after school, enough to want to consider stepping out on my duties just this once. Yet it's nice to feel like there is something I can do. <laughs> He's over it already. <laughs> she's an A drops a stack of attendance sheets next to me. Thanks again for helping me out. Thanks again, he Chan. <laughs> sure is a lot of work, though. I had to. Did you forget my name? <laughs> yeah, it just for some reason it threw me off that she didn't say the same thing. But I had to skip out on sign language class again. But now I'm at a level where I can understand most of Shiza and Misha's conversations. Really, already? I doubt that with each other. So I'm not too bothered. By uh, maybe it. it's been like a month or something. I don't know. He said he's been at the school for a few weeks. Yeah. So, I mean, at most a month. Yeah. I. I, I don't know. Is it that easy to learn Close sign Close to language? two months? I don't know. I'm not too lazy to try. <laughs> I've never dated a deaf girl, so I don't <laughs> <Right>? know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't if you don't learn sign language. Well, that's true. Uh, Shizune still doesn't know that, though. I'm determined to keep things that way until I'm very sure of my skills. Perhaps it's a little childish of me. Tanatapa <laughs> is in less than five days, but they're only going to start building the stalls tomorrow. Hey, Chan, we might have to help out the building stalls again to starting tomorrow. Why? Wasn't What was the point of taking them apart then? That took days, didn't it? Yup, that's right. Even though He Chan wasn't there for it. Is he going to catch her lying about what she says? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would have helped out if you asked. It wouldn't have made sense. Well, no, she knows. She knows. Yeah, Misha, learning, yeah, yeah. Misha knows that you're <laughs> learning. It wouldn't have made sense to bore you with cleanup duty after you enjoyed the festival so much it wouldn't have made sense to bore you with making you clean up right after the festival it would have ruined the fun <laughs> <laughs> she does put her own little lilt on everything besides ah he chan is lazy anyway you would have tried to <laughs> run away again she chan doesn't like playing foxhound that stings she's in it covers her mouth with her hand and starts shaking it takes me a second to realize she's laughing and not having a seizure, mostly because she's doing so completely soundlessly. I do that, and I'm not deaf. It's a, yeah. I just I just hate my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little strange to see, but more or less the same good-spirited kind kind as Misha's, without being eardrum piercing. Hmm, that's a good question, though, He Chan. Huh? Did I say something? Stalls. <laughs> It's a storage issue. The school doesn't have anywhere to store so many stalls, since each one is pretty large. They won't pay for outside storage either, so this is what they decided on. It's inefficient, but cheaper. Because the school doesn't have anywhere to store that many stalls, he chan. Menipsis. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right. They do, but they don't want to pay. Sorry, she chan. It's because of the previous generation. The leadership decided that 
outside storage costs had risen too much, and the student council before us was too weak-willed to tell them that it's stupid to have to build and dis assemble 60 stalls twice every year. Yeah. Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> It's stupid. <laughs> hey, Chan, let's eat something. It feels like we've been working all day. We haven't done anything. We have. Now that I think about it, I am hungry. I would have had lunch, but it was really crowded today for some reason, so I decided it wasn't worth the trouble. <laughs> it was like that today because they... Whoa. What? But... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was like my tongue got ahead of the rest of my mouth, ladies. Uh -huh. It was like that today <laughs> because they had some especially interesting things for sale on the side. Like what? No, don't tell me. I guess it doesn't matter, since I won't be able to eat them anyway. Shizune looks oddly pleased with herself. <laughs> I wonder what the context of that could be. I prepared ahead of time for this. Beaming with self-satisfaction, she produces a wide assortment of food from her bag. You can immediately see that 90% of it, or more, was taken from the lunchroom. You little thief. There's a lot, as well. Isn't there a limit on how much a person can buy? That means these gains are definitely ill-gotten. The veal cutlet bread is always sold out in the first minute of lunch. I'm impressed you managed to obtain one. Thank you. I reach for it quickly, but she's an a meows at me. <laughs> Immediately makes a grab for it as well. Her hand goes slack for a second when it touches mine, but she immediately pushes forth with redoubled effort, that blazing competitive spirit flashing dangerously in her eyes. Ah. <laughs> Her fingers pry at mine, searching for an opening. I don't budge an inch, prepared to fight for this bread with my life. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> I might never have another chance to eat this. I am fully aware that if we continue like this, we could crush the bread, greatly reducing its edibility. Misha, tell her... her <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> tell Quit her it. That she lets go. The bread is going to be crushed. Hmm? Why can't you do it yourself? Don't say that. <laughs> I'm startled she can so nonchalantly let slip that I could communicate with Shizune just fine if I wanted to. I almost considered the possibility it was, inten it was intentional, but I'm sure she was just distracted by trying to tear the wrapper off a juice box straw. Isn't it obvious? I can't let go of the bread. I can't tell she chan that then. Puts her palms up to the sky and shrugs, a wide grin on her face. Why not? Because you have a stake in this, so I can't trust you. If Shi Chan wants to reply, she has to let go of the bread, and then you win. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's what you want, He Chan. It wouldn't be fair, <laughs> so I'm going to be neutral, like Switzerland. Switzerland? Do you know about <laughs> Switzerland? I mean, everyone does that reference when they say neutral. Of course I do. It's neutral. They're neutral. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> then why did you ask? Oh, right. What? <laughs> Shizune stares at me cockily, the tip of her tongue sticking out slightly from between her teeth as she continues to tug firmly at the veal cutlet bread between us. Suddenly, she lets go and holds her hands up, palm facing outward. The universal gesture of surrender. Not peace, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> This seems like a poor way to settle this, doesn't it? And we might crush the bread. She glares, and her passive expression quickly plummets into a disapproving grimace. <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> Pichan, drop the bread! We are negotiating now! Uh, I drop the bread reluctantly. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Misha's hand darts in from the side, her fingers drumming across the table as it makes its way over. She just, like, shoves it into yeah. I win! <laughs> Neutral! <laughs> ah! Aha! Don't mind me! I don't even really like veal. I'll just take this sandwich right here and something to drink, too. Picking them up cautiously, she immediately retreats. She has the right idea. I could just pick something else. There are lots of delicious things here. The chicken katsudon bread is also a popular seller, ranking high in taste and demand. But I've already eaten one before. Mm, I wanted that veal bread. <laughs> You're so immature, Hasao. This wouldn't be a problem if you would pick something else. Chicken katsudon bread is delicious. You're so immature, he yeah, can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pick the chicken katsudon bread instead? It's delicious. But I've already eaten that. I've eaten this. <laughs> he chan. Why are you so obsessed with eating the veal cutlet bread specifically? It's hard to get normally. Rare things are more delicious. 
You are acting like a child. You're acting like a kid, He Chan. God, now I gotta hear this twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why did I learn this? Why don't you eat the why don't you eat the chicken bread? That's not important. Why don't you fuck yourself? <laughs> You're turning bright red. <laughs> she smiles cunningly and continues. There's no reasoning with you, so it looks like there's only one way to settle this. We are going to play for it. Oh, Lord. Or share. That doesn't matter. We'll, pl <laughs> we'll play for it instead. Somehow I expected this. It's the logical conclusion. I'm hungry. I'm just going to eat. <laughs> right. Shizune has been studying for a long time, pretty much continuously up until now. With our finals over, I guess that surplus energy has to go somewhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> play. <laughs> play what? The oldest game known to man upon which the fate of nations has been known to rest. Rock, paper, scissors. We'll play rock, paper, scissors. Really? That sounds so serious, Shi-Chan. There is no humor in her expression. She is dead set on this. Okay, okay. She draws her hand back and I mirror her. Do you go on go or do you go on scissors? Yeah, that's kind of important to know. Go! We both put out rock. A draw. I had thought I had the perfect plan. Rock is unbeatable, what? except for paper. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> <She's>, Dynamite. <laughs> She's a frowns. That's like isn't that a joke in friends? Like, oh this one this one always wins. Yeah, it's it's fire. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like wiggles his fingers like it's fire. It beats everything right, and then Phoebe water goes, balloon. Water balloon. <laughs> oh, well played. <laughs> She's in a frowns, deeply upset by this unexpected turn of events. Not as planned. Ho oh. ho. Again. Well, yeah. Two papers. Damn. What are the odds? <laughs> again. We both threw out two rocks again, but a third hand is among us representing scissors. She just punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like fun. Can I play? <laughs> a new contestant enters. <laughs> Ellipsis, ellipsis, ellipsis. It's a duel, Shi-Chan. Ellipsis. Uh, dueling conduct? Hmm. You're right, you're right. I really don't know. I guess I can't play. Oh. The faster she signs, the harder it is to follow. In fact, it looks like even Misha is having trouble keeping up. What is what's she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. We tie again, every time. Shizune demands a rematch, eventually skipping that step altogether and throwing rock, paper, or scissors out with increasingly reckless abandon. Even playing comp completely randomly, we continue to tie. This is a mathematical long shot. I'm starving! <laughs> <laughs> Misha hovers above us, watching it all and laughing each time we draw. After 16 rounds, Jesus. Shizune pushes her chair away from the table and. <laughs> it just. The camera pans over, Misha's just eating the fucking veal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's in a flips a chair. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Enough of this, he chan I see what I have been doing wrong, and this will all be over in the next round, so brace yourself, okay? Okay. I have studied your thought process. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I see how you play. Oh, no. I'm anticipating your next move, and we'll combat it expertly. I'll always choose rock. It wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is all news to me, as I can't remember what we are doing this over. She's in a grins confidently, a look of fearless daring on her face. Her cool eyes flash with pure competitive spirit as she draws her hand back, goading me wordlessly to do the same. Go ahead, choose rock, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> her form is amazing, like a professional bowler or something, just to throw a hand motion. Two papers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She's in his body immediately goes slack. She rubs her temples with a look of exasperation on her face as she lets out a sigh so long it sounds like a tire deflating. I realize I've gotten a lot hungrier in the time we've been doing this. We can just split it. <laughs> Break the bread in half and offer one half of it to Shizune. She takes it. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, all of that. She looks at the bread in her hand, studying it. But this feels hollow somehow. Regardless of how she feels, she still eats it. All of a sudden, I see Misha observing the scene out of the corner of my eye. He chan that was very romantic, I think. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Wah! She laughs and takes a bite of her second sandwich. We eat in silence for a while. She's an a and I managing to avoid any other contests, and then we go back to work. Oh, so nobody won? Nope. <laughs> 17 draws. 
As I finish up the day's usual filing, I think to myself that this might be Shizune's way of trying to start this week on a high note. After all, tomorrow is when the real work will begin. Ugh. With her hands literally full building stalls, she won't be able to talk very much. Quotes. Because she's deaf. <laughs> if you, in case you forgot. <laughs> it will likely be pretty dull and tiring, like it was the first time around. I'm appreciative of her effort. In that case, it's nice to have days like this as a way of enjoying yourself before the days ahead. I think that was her idea as well. I also remember that I still have to get rid of Kenji's package. You still have Kenji's package? What? How? It's been like weeks, hasn't it? I think so. The damn thing is bulky, and somehow I've never been able to track him down since I picked it up. You just drop it in front of his door. Set it outside his... Yeah. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> such a weird thing to do. After student council is adjourned for the day, I walk towards the vending machines to look for something to drink. Parting from Shizune and Misha, it's a short trip, but after even just a few seconds, I start to get the feeling that I'm not alone. Oh, God. Who is it going to be? A ghost. Hanako, the ghost? Oh, yeah, Hanako is the ghost. <laughs> we'll find out next time, I guess. Kenji's been secretly stalking you, trying to get his package back. <laughs> yeah.